Hey, this is Dan from Panda, People Against the National Defense Act, coming at you with an NDAA action update. A few things that have been happening with the NDAA more recently, but some over the past few weeks. Uh, we're going to start with the constable in Pennsylvania has signed a resolution agreeing to interpose against the federal government on the NDAA. There's a link in the description to the article, and we have his speech right here. Let's cut right to that. Standing in opposition to the provisions in the National Defense Authorization Act, fiscal year 2012, which authorizes military detention and trial of U.S. citizens and lawful residents in direct violation of the United States Constitution and the Constitution of this Commonwealth. Whereas, on December 31st, 2011, President Barack Obama signed the conference report to House of Representatives Bill H.R. 1540, the National Defense Authorization Act, NDAA, into law. Whereas, the NDAA contains provisions repugnant to and destructive of the Constitution and Bill of Rights of the United States of America and the Constitution of this com of the Commonwealth Therefore, of Pennsylvania. be it resolved, for the above and for following reasons, I, Edwin Clarence Quiggle Jr., Constable of the Ninth Ward of the City of Sunbury, County of Northumberland, Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, express my belief that the National Defense Authorization Act for fiscal year 2012 is unconstitutional in authorizing the President to use war powers and the law of war and or martial law in the United States and its territories over any person, including citizens or lawful resident aliens of the United States, not in the military forces, and over citizens or lawful resident aliens of the United States who are not in the military forces anywhere in the world. All provisions of the NDAA and the Patriot Act, which are unconstitutional, including as noted here and above, were in our null and void from their inception and will not be implemented, enforced, or otherwise supported in this commonwealth by the Office of Constable of the Ninth Ward of the City of Sunbury, and it is the express policy of the Constable that no officer, employee, or agent of the Constable's office, including any Deputy Constable or member of a posse under the command of the Constable or a Deputy Constable, may implement, enforce, or otherwise support directly or indirectly any of the above noted unconstitutional provisions, including the seizure, detention, or trial by the United States Armed Forces and or any other agents of the United States government, both foreign and domestic, of any person, including the, any United States citizen and or lawful resident within this commonwealth, and that a violation of such policy will be deemed a violation of their oath of office and or employment, and will subject them to discipline up to and including termination and potential arrest for assault, battery, kidnapping, unlawful detention, and other unconstitutional actions under the color of law. Further resolved, recognizing my oath bound duty to support, obey, and defend the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of this Commonwealth, as well as recognizing the duty of we the people to protect our inalienable natural rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness as alliterated in the Declaration of Independence. I, Constable Edwin Clarence Quiggle Jr., hereby adopt this resolution, signed this 26th day of May by Ed Quiggle Jr., the duly elected constable of the 9th Ward of the City of Sunbury, County of Northumberland, Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Here, here. Now next, the Rhode Island Legislature on June 12th signed a resolution saying that they were against the NDAA and did not like the National Defense Authorization Act and the indefinite detention of American citizens without charge and without trial. Now this resolution has the exact same force of law as if I were to go stop to an FBI agent attempting to detain me. Except I have a suit, I have a tie, and I have a fancy political title. But it's a step in the right direction, and I very much applaud Representative Dan Gould.
Gordon in Rhode Island for introducing that bill. Next, the Oath Keepers Conference. I spoke at this conference on Saturday. It was an excellent conference. There was about 50 or so in attendance. And I'm very happy about how things turned out with it. We made some great connections and moving forward, uh, we're going to be more in connection with such groups as uh, Oath Keepers and uh, several different other liberty groups after the conference that's going to be really helpful and beneficial to the liberty movement. Now, next, we uh, got funding from an Ohio donor not that long ago, so that's very good. We're looking forward to that, uh, being able to use that for advertising and promotional material to get the word out about liberty and the NDAA. And finally, next, we have the Tea Party in Williamsport, Pennsylvania, has agreed to put together a special task force to work on pushing against the NDAA in their county. The county commissioner is looking already at signing a bill that would do that, so we're looking very good in that aspect. Also, Panda is working on the Wood County, Ohio Sheriff and the Wood County, Ohio Prosecutor. The sheriff was presented with a resolution on Thursday to uh, interpose against the federal government on the NDAA and not comply with the federal government on the NDAA. He has been somewhat skeptical, Sheriff Mark Vosilishin, and he referred us to his prosecutor to see what kind of action he should take. Now, the Wood County prosecutor is going to be the good as gold advice on this, so whatever the prosecutor lays out as a verdict is whatever the sheriff will follow in, his, uh, in our county. So in Wood County, we're really pushing people to contact the sheriff. Again, there's a link in the description where they can contact the sheriff. And uh, here's the, the story coming up right here. As you can see in that story, we're really pushing this as much as we can. And this could be a great victory for us because Mark Vosilishin is also a member of the National Sheriff's Association. And that could be a good window into nullifying the NDAA nationwide. This has been the NDAA Action Update. Look forward to another one from me soon. Keep fighting for liberty, patriots. Go for it.